Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Drone Pilots YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about the FAA's aircraft records that you can order on paper or they ordered on a CD-ROM. And before we get into the transformation of this airplane into a thing of beauty, please hit the notification bell and also hit the like button. This helps in our ratings with the videos, and we appreciate it. Now, this CD-ROM will contain perhaps up to three files. It has a registration file telling you who's owned the airplane. It has a airworthiness file that tells you about all the repairs that have been done to the airplane. And if the registration has lapsed for whatever reason, it will have a suspense file. So now you go to the FAA, you order the CD-ROM, you fill it all out, you put it in your cart, and as you can see here, we have three files coming for this aircraft. And the three files, again, are registration, airworthiness, and suspense. Now, the registration file will tell you everybody who's owned the airplane all the way back to where the factory sold it to the first person. So on this particular airplane we're looking at registration, it was owned by 10 people before I bought it for myself, and now it's being owned by Lou Evans, so there you go, someone else. But that's all contained in the registration file. So that's one way to verify that you really do own the airplane. Now the other file is the airworthiness file. And it shows all the work, all the way back to where you got your original airworthy certificate, or if there was something wrong with one and it had to be replaced. All that will be in the airworthiness file. It'll list all the 337s as well as all the STCs on the airplane so that now you know what kind of an airplane you have to go look at because every STC is an amendment to the original type, type data certification sheet which is how the original aircraft was made so if you change the engine you have a different engine to inspect you have a different propeller whatever the STC advocates putting on and also it allows you to check was it put on properly now what does that mean, was it put on properly? It has, the airplane hasn't fallen out of the sky, the part hasn't fallen off, so surely it must be close. But like, let's take the STC for putting the J2A engine in a two-seater. It's a bigger horsepower engine, but it requires that you have a bigger nose strut. Well, if you don't put the bigger nose strut, it's not a legal STC, and therefore your aircraft is not legal. Now the 337s on the airplane repairs and uh, alterations will tell a story about the airplane and what's happened to it over the years. So you can finally order the records to make sure that all the 337s that you and your mechanic are sending in are actually inbound to the airplane. Are they all there? Do your FAA records match the airplane records? And that's what the FAA is really big about today is all the paperwork matching. So folks, I know it's not a really fun topic to talk about paperwork and record keeping, but it is the FAA and it is an airplane. So we hope you found all this useful and informative. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and notify and subscribe. And have a great day flying your Grumman. And in addition, there's a little treat about 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm doing web work and other stuff. Here's my cat coming down, playing with a mouse and meowing and just having a good time with me in the wee hours of the night. So I thought I'd throw this into you as a little treat. Y'all, please enjoy.